Good morning. Good morning. Hi, handsome. It's a good boy. Yeah, it's a good boy. Hi, guys. Welcome to my after party cleanup video. For those of you that don't know, I just celebrated my 40th birthday this last weekend with my three closest friends and it was one of my biggest parties yet. I'm gonna forewarn you now, in a minute or two, I am going to be doing my intro and I don't want you to be alarmed. My hair is a complete disaster and I'm a complete mess, so you have been warned. Welcome to the video. I didn't get much footage of me cleaning the kitchen area only because my friends came back over on Sunday morning and they helped me clean up the kitchen area. I did get a few clips of it, but all I could really manage to get was the photos that you saw in the beginning of the video. But we do have the rest of the garage to clean up, so that's pretty much what I'm gonna be cleaning in this video today. until after I showered and put some makeup on but I'm just so touched right now I, I, I can't wait uh, most of you might know that I have been planning our birthday party my friend Crystal my best friend Wendy and my friend Christine we all share the same birthday month from April 1st to May 1st so we decided to put our birthdays all together because me and my best friend are turning 40 it was a big year for me um, I've been noticing a lot of changes and you know, just in, in myself and in, in my, sorry. Okay, I'm trying to get through this, okay. I'm starting to, to feel the effects of, of aging and changes and stuff like that. So I've been trying to work on myself. I've always been one not to want to grow up. I don't want to age too quickly. I, I'm a kid at heart. I, <laughs> sorry, this is so raw right now. I'm starting to realize that I am a grown up now. Uh, something just changed in me over the last couple of years, especially being on YouTube. A lot of things have changed. My mental health has really done some good things, but my body is kind of giving out right now and I'm trying to figure it all out. So we decided to throw this big birthday party and it was amazing. Without Crystal, I wouldn't. it wouldn't have been possible. She spent the last two weeks with me practically every single day. We went shopping, we did some DIYs together, we did planning, we figured out the meal plan, we did research together on everything 80s. I haven't thrown a birthday party for myself since my 30th birthday, and I'm glad that I get to share it all with you guys because it's a big moment for me and my friends, and a lot of things are changing too, like my best friend wants to move away. A big part of my life is moving away, so, I thought it was important that we all got together and shared our birthdays together because I don't know when our next birthday is going to be and she did a really beautiful speech and, and she made me cry and I did a beautiful speech for all of my friends and they all cried and we did karaoke and we just had a really great time. In this video, I am going to be showing you like the cleanup. Yesterday we actually did do most of the cleanup in the kitchen in the house. Crystal and, and her husband wanted to come in and help us clean up. My friend Robert did a lot. Um, so we just got together, we cleaned up the kitchen, and um, I'm just doing a little bit of touch-ups here and there. I cleaned my bathroom a little bit and just picked up the rest of the mess that was in here and just trying to organize a little bit so I can get my house back together, working order. I haven't worked out in a week, which I think was a good thing because it kind of like helped me reset. So today's going to be my first workout in, in a week. The reason why I'm crying is because my, my friend Crystal actually surprised me with a brand new vanity mirror and it has a little ring light around it and um, she gave it to me like a week before our party and I think that the reason why she did that was because we, you know, us girls all wanted to get together in the bathroom and it just like all came together in the right way 
And so she gave me that and then my husband bought me the little chair that goes with it and it just shocked me that she remembered and because I've always said that I wanted a vanity mirror that had a light around it so that I could see myself in the mirror because my bathroom, my whole house is like pretty dull. Um, I was in such shock that I couldn't even cry but it meant so much to me that somebody actually listens to me and pays attention to the things that I, that I talk about that I don't expect from people, you know? Well today, I was just so in the zone, just trying to get things ready, I was doing my intro for the video and uh, um, I had to stop to drop off my son at school. I saw my friend Crystal's car sitting there and I was like, that looks like my friend Crystal's car. I've never seen that car here before. And as soon as the bus went away, she came running out of the car. This girl, I swear. She blows me away. She came running out of the car and she's like, Shelly! I'm like, it's Crystal! And so she's like, hey, I just wanted to come and say happy birthday because today is your actual birthday. She gave me a card. A really beautiful card. A card. This is what actually made me cry. I'm not going to read it to you guys because it's, it's kind of special. But she also gave me this. This book is the Disney Thomas Kincaid coloring book. So I watch YouTube like I watch TV. It's all I usually watch. And there's this one girl that I watch. I can't remember her name on top of my head. But she's an artist and she does all kinds of coloring and drawing and we were watching a coloring video of this girl who was coloring in this book and what I loved about it was that they gave the, the colored page on one side and then you're supposed to kind of like try to duplicate it or replicate it and I said oh my gosh I really like that book I want to get that book Disney was actually my favorite coloring books growing up I was five years old and my grandmother gave me a whole set of coloring books that was nothing but Disney and I held on to them for years and I let my kids color with them and they destroyed my books so a lot of my books went missing I have no idea where they're at all of my artwork from when I was younger I was coloring in them from the age of five until like after 30 years old and it, it was heartbreaking to know that I don't have those books anymore she replaced those memories for me I've never met anyone like her um, I, my best friend Winnie and I, we go way back. We have lots of memories together. She was my matron of honor of my wedding and she's just always been there for me spiritually. And, um, I can never ever replace Wendy, but somehow God put Crystal in my life and we have a lot in common. Just so amazing how someone could pay attention to me and listen to me and actually like want to spend time with me and want to listen to me. I can tend to get real chatty and I could talk about nothing sometimes and with her I feel like I could talk to her about anything so that's why this means so much to me but anyway I'm gonna stop crying now I'm gonna go ahead and get on with my day because today is my actual birthday I'm officially 40 years old yeah I should go ahead and just get started with my workout and we'll go from there Okay, so just as a little bit of a backstory for those of you guys who are new here, I have hypothyroidism and for the last four years, I have been trying to figure out my health and so I finally got to see a doctor because I know that my thyroid medication, the amount is going to be changing soon and while I was there, my doctor had expressed a lot of concerns about some of my symptoms which would include tinnitus, bloating, ex like extreme bloating, um, weight gain, mental issues, brain fog, um, memory loss. The list can go on and on, seriously. Like there's so many things that are involved with hypothyroidism, it's, it's mind blowing. But she was telling me that she thinks that because I've been on levothyroxine for so long, because I was diagnosed at 19 years old, that there's a possibility that I might be allergic to the medication after being on it for so long and she wants me to get a ultrasound on my thyroid to make sure that there's no goiters or this or any kind of cancer going on so she ordered for me to get a full blood panel of blood work done including diabetes and all kinds of other things meanwhile I'm trying to do my part by exercising and dieting correctly there's a lot of foods that I shouldn't be eating or I should be limiting, including dairy, gluten, um, sugars, and all kinds of stuff like that. 
Um, I also try to take probiotics to help with the bloating. There's just so many things involved with hypothyroidism. And since last year I focused all on mental health, I figured that this year I want to focus all on my physical health. The pandemic surely did hold me back from seeing a doctor for so long, but now it's time to get back on track. So this is my friendly reminder to you guys, if you're experiencing any symptoms, just go and do it, get it done, and you might be finding some answers that you've been looking for. I'll probably never crimp my hair like this again. <laughs> it was pretty cool for the 80s party, but yeah, my hair is um, quite a bit of a mess. Time to wash it out. So if you guys have been here with me since the beginning, you guys will know that I have a sensitivity to gluten. I'm not intolerant. I don't have celiac disease or anything like that. It's just that my body has a hard time breaking down glutens, especially in the ones that have lots of gluten in it or added gluten in it, like pizza or pretzels, like the big soft ones. So these are gluten-free waffles. They're also dairy-free and egg-free. So I try to avoid alcohol as much as possible. Um, I do indulge here and there occasionally, like for my birthday. It's not anything too, concern, too concerning about. It's just a lot of times if I eat certain foods like alcohol or gluten, sometimes it could cause memory loss. Like if I'm speaking, I might forget what I'm saying or I'll stutter. I might experience lots of bloating. I feel it in my face. I feel bloated in the face and it takes lots of time for it to go away. So I try to avoid alcohol and gluten as much as possible. I'm also going to be trying to go sugar-free for 30 days. And when I say sugar-free, I don't mean um, like carbs because I still am going to eat bread. I'm still going to eat pasta. I'm still going to eat rice and potatoes and stuff like that. And so I'm just going to be going on a, a reduced sugar diet for the next 30 days where I'm going to try to stay away from any kind of sweets starting tomorrow because today is my birthday and I probably will be eating some kind of dessert for after dinner. And I want to see what will happen to maybe my face maybe um, my face might not be as bloated or pudgy looking so i'm gonna go ahead and eat breakfast and then we're gonna head out into the garage and we're gonna be cleaning up out there because there is a big mess for my party and it is time to take it all down setting everything up and we were doing all the shopping and everything we were pumping herself up getting so excited and we were like I can't wait for it to be here I can't wait for it to be here and at one point we even said man with all of this hyping up that we're doing it's gonna get here before we know it and then it's gonna end even quicker than it took to put it all together and it's, it's just gonna be done in a blink of an eye 
but now that I'm in the garage for the first time since looking at it, we had so much fun in here. This is the first time we've been able to party in our garage in six months. So this, this is our spot. This is our hangout, our lounge. And, uh, uh, it was epic guys. It was really epic. And I can't wait to share it all with you guys. This was all documented and it will be put on YouTube. I'll show you how I put it all together in my next video. So let's go ahead and start cleaning up all this mess. <laughs> I don't know where to start. I don't even want to take it down. But I have to. All right, let's do it. Someday you might be the president Someday you might be a star Someday you might be a homeowner You might even play guitar In the between and all the fun I'll be by your side I love you Cause you're a piece of my heart Whatever you do Wherever you are no matter the time, the place, near or far In all the good and all that's hard I love you cause you're a piece of my heart Someday you might make big mistakes Someday you might break hearts Someday you might just fall in love You might even drive a car In the between and all the change I'll be by your side I love you cause you're a piece of my heart Whatever you do, wherever you are No matter the time you play
just change the world I know you're changing mine Someday you might have a family Don't worry, take your time In the between and every part I'll be by your side I love you Cause you're a piece of my heart Whatever you do Wherever you are No matter the time, the place, near or far In all the good and all that's hard I love you cause you're a piece of my heart I love you cause you're a piece of my heart This is as much as I'm going to be able to get done. I at least got everything off the walls. I'm not touching that table because that's my husband's stereo system and everything and I don't want to accidentally hurt, like mess with anything. So I'm going to have him take that down. I'm going to have my son take out all the trash and then my husband and my son are going to put everything that goes into storage into storage for me. So this is it. Um, I can't believe it's all over. But at least I still have one more video left for you guys. So keep an eye out open for that one. It should be posting very soon. It just depends on how long it takes me to edit that video. So I got about three hours left until my kids get home and my husband obviously. And he wants to take me out to dinner. So he asked me if I wanted to go to the Olive Garden and I said yes. So we're going to do that. To all of my friends that are watching, I want to thank you guys so much for being there. You guys are so awesome. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't have celebrated my birthday because I have been struggling so bad with my self-confidence. I've been I'm feeling kind of down on myself and I've been struggling with my body dysmorphia for quite some time now. That day just kind of like took that all away and I it, it just made me realize that it doesn't matter how I look, but people love me for who I am as a friend, as a person, and I need to learn how to accept that. So I guess one of my messages that I want to send to you guys is that if you guys are struggling with anything that's making you feel bad about yourself, especially if it's done by someone else, someone else made you feel that way about you, I want you to try and let go of all of that negative energy because there's no reason to live your life feeling bad about yourself because of someone else. If you're feeling any type of way, just know that looks fade. You know, you're only young for so long. You, you get to a point in your life where all of your youth just starts fading and it, it just happens and and you got to accept it and that's something that i had that i was struggling with i was like, struggling with the big 40 you know thinking oh my gosh and you know, i've been looking at pictures of myself and videos of myself and really seeing a change in my face and in my body and it's scary at the same time it's it's a it's a gift and it's a blessing and not everyone gets a chance to do it a lot of people lose their life at a very young age my next message would be to work hard so you can play hard you know um, YouTube just fell into my lap I didn't expect to ever do it I never thought I would have the courage to do it and I just somehow managed to get over that fear of putting myself out there and a lot of people compliment me on what I can do because for years I thought that I couldn't do anything, that I had no talents, no nothing. Recently my friend's son told me, you can bake, you can make parties, you can sing. I mean, I can sing, but not like performers wise, but I mean, you know, we do really good karaoke. You know, that's what it is. It's all about fun and I do really good and I get into it and um, it's fun for me. So. He was just, he just reminded me and it, it just came out of nowhere and I wasn't expecting these compliments and it just made me realize, you know, I, I am able, I am capable and I'm able to be myself and, and really accept the good things that I can do. I can color, I can draw, I can um, put makeup on, I could do my, my own nails now. Like I, I've learned so much being on YouTube. I watch YouTube like I do TV. And I watch it because I, I feel encouraged and inspired by others. And I think that's partly the reason why I chose to put myself on YouTube. And I started off with baking cakes because I thought that was the only talent I had. But I have more talent than that. I am a mom. All of my friends are a really good support system. They support everything that I do. I can't be more, any more blessed than I am to have the people who I have in my life 
So that would be my last message to you guys is to make sure that whoever you invite into your life is a really good support system and is there for you and makes you feel good about yourself. It took lots and lots and lots of years of damage done to me by people my entire childhood and I carried that around with me and it just weighed so heavy on me my entire life. And even with the support system that I had, it was hard for me to remember all those things that happened to me in my past. I was carrying all that weight around me and it was tearing me down. And the older I get, I guess, I guess that's something that really resonated with me is that even though I'm aging, I can finally start feeling myself and let go of all of the negative energy that I've been carrying around with me my entire life. Anyway, enough said. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for being with me today. Yeah, so I'll see you guys in my next video. In every Bye, part I'll be by your side. I love you because you're a piece of my heart.